Hey YouTube family, I want you to listen to the background noise in this video. Listen. Okay, this is exactly how this rice made my family feel. Now guys, I introduce to you my own special coconut rice. This is pretty easy. Now I'm adding in some coconut oil into a heated pan. So I just added that and straight to saute my onion. So I sauteed my onion for um, about one minute until it was translucent and then I introduced my scotch bonnet pepper. Now I just chopped this basically because I didn't want it smooth but you can actually do anything that works for you. Now you're going to combine both ingredients very very well. Allow this to combine for about five minutes because I wanted to get the best from it. Now I added in my washed rice. I'm making use of basmati rice but guys feel free to make use of any rice you have at your disposal. Now you're basically going to just fry this rice in your coconut oil and you know the scotch bonnet and the onion. Reason being that you just want to unlock all the flavors of this beautiful ingredients that were introduced to the coconut oil first. So as soon as that was golden brown, I made sure that it was actually very dry this is also the process i use for my fried rice and it is a no fill method now i added in some seasoning cubes i added some chicken seasoning i also added some fish seasoning and then i added a little bit of you know crayfish powder i call this little because if you know me well and you've seen my videos you know that i'm a fan and i'm a sucker for crayfish powder because this one just takes your meal from you know zero to a hundred real quick now I added in my crayfish and then I fried this some more time before I added in little, you know, salt. I'm not a fan of salt because if you season right, you really do not need so much salt. Now this is me adding my coconut milk. Um, you can actually use extracted coconut, but I made use of the processed one and then I added water enough to cook my rice. Now I gave this a very quick mix so that this could combine properly and I covered my pots for some minutes. So when I checked at, after some minutes, I think about 10, 15 minutes, because I'm cooking basmati rice, it was almost cooked. Now I introduced my um, dried green peas because I didn't want it too hard. So I added it to my rice at this point. And guys, if you know, you know that vegetables just take your meal from zero to a hundred. So I try as much as possible to make use of it at <laughs> any slight opportunity I get. So this is me adding my own twists. I've seen people actually, you know, do it without vegetables, but I'm a fan, so I made use of vegetable. But if you do not like it, please feel free to skip this process. Now the rice was almost cooked and I decided to, you know, stir fry my um, vegetables. I started with my carrots. I made use of a crinkle cutter to just give it that beautiful, you know, finish. And then I added my green beans. Some people call this runner beans, I don't know. I added in some seasoning. Guys, do well to always add in seasoning when you're stir frying your vegetable so that you don't have a blank vegetable and a sweet rice. So I added some seasoning and I mixed this all up properly. And when it got to the point that I saw that it was almost cooked, I added my green bell peppers. Now you shouldn't add everything at the same time because they basically don't have the same texture and you do not want soggy vegetable and hard vegetable. So make sure you follow this process in adding your vegetable if this is an option for you. Now I mixed this all up properly and when I was sure that it was okay and we were good to go, I just set it aside and I kept my rice back on my heat and then I introduced my stir fried vegetable to this rice. Guys, this food is so, so good. Please do well to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So this food was so good. It got everybody asking for more. Like, <laughs> if you listen to the voiceover at the beginning, if you listen to the voice at the beginning of this video, it should tell you how this rice tasted. It was so, 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 so yummy. And you know what coconut does now? Coconut just take your meal from zero to a hundred. So the coconut, this coconut rice is a must try for you. And I do hope that you will try it and tell me what you think. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, let me tell you again, please do well to hit the subscribe button, like the video, share the video, and make sure to turn on your notification. Thank you so very much. And as usual, Adesua will see you in the next video. Bye.